Welcome to The Walking Dead. Saints, sinners, and the devil. The devil is us. As we venture into the heart of darkness, completing quests in the most diabolical of ways. We've got 666 rounds on the 9mm. 666 arrows on the bow. And we're here in the bywater to lend aid to some star-crossed lovers. Yonder star-crossed lover. Voices, Dan. I'm in a bind and I All need right. a third party to set some wheels in motion. Someone unaligned. Nothing shady, I swear. Good, because we don't do shady. You got my attention? What do you need? Meet me on the opposite side of this build. Can't risk being overheard or seen. Yeah, because there's so many people around. Somebody might hear something. We've got this place locked down. I haven't seen a corpse for hours. Locked down. All right. I really appreciate it. West side is clear. West side is clear. It's the north, just uh, just around this truck. That last JB broadcast was something else. Shook me to the core. You made it. Good. Yep. Okay. Here's Surprising. The I used to be with the tower, and I was happy there, really. But I got a tendency to get mouthy, and there were some things I saw that didn't sit right with me. So I spoke my mind. My boyfriend warned me, but I didn't listen. I thought I could get through to these people, but whatever. Long story short, they kicked my ass out. I connected with the reclaimed out of necessity to survive. But I don't belong with them. I belong with Justin. He and I, we need to put all this tower and reclaim bullshit behind us. We need to make our own way. Oh, I'll help you make your own way. Seems like you know what you need to do. What do you need me for? I need to reconnect with Justin. And then we need to get the fuck out of this hell. I've written Justin a letter. Lays out my plan for us to reunite, then jet. You play poster worker. Get him the letter. Then we can talk reward. Time is working against us. I'm afraid one of us might bite it before we see each other again. Tower and Reclaim don't exactly get along, as I'm sure you know. So, you can see the dilemma. If the guy who runs my patrol finds out I'm communicating with the Tower, that's it for me. Walk a fool. Justin is stationed with the Tower Patrol in the area. Tom's Lumberyard just across the way. Fuck. If things get crazy, we might accidentally kill each other. Really, they kicked you out up. for mouthing off, huh? I'll take care don't of this. Worry. I'll deliver the letter. Then we can discuss your end of the bargain. I ain't a charity case, and I like to be up front whenever I strike a deal. Really? I thought we were going to talk on. reward Industrial after. Industrial shit galore stocked up in the nearby warehouse next to this auto shop we're posted up in. Place is infested with walkers at the loading dock entrance, but there is a way in on the side. From there, you can slip right on past the fuckers without much trouble. I stashed the key to the side door somewhere safe. I'll have it when you return. Here's the letter. Meet me back here after the letter's been delivered. I'm sure Justin will scribble a reply. He's not quite the poet I am, but I still love the guy. He still loves the guy. Let's, let's where does the letter go? This we're gonna have to get it out anyways. Task letters. Devon's letter. My love, the time is now. It's been weeks since we last spoke. What if we never hold each other again? This is their war, not ours. The odds may be stacked against us. But I would rather risk everything with you by my side than survive this hell without you. Meet me at our spot beyond the southern funnel where it all began. Two dawns from now. Two Travel dawns light. from now. We have to be swift. Forever your baby, Devon. Forever your baby. All right. Now we gotta That's clear this laneway. <laughs> Doesn't look so tough. Don't be What? Looks can be deceiving. Alright, so Justin's down there. First we gotta kinda clear out the uh, resistance along the way. What you want? What do I want? 
I've got some information that you might be interested in. Hmm. Is that so? I yep. suppose you want something for this info, too. Yeah, I do. Throw me a bone and it's yours. Well, I ain't giving you shit. How about that bone? What was that? What was that? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Throw me a bone. There we go. All right. It's busy, busy, busy in the bywater. Hey, fellas. Like the way you walk. Really? That way. Oh, the music barely got started. All right. Another one down there. They're pretty far away. So, Justin's just up in this little... Tom's lumber shop. So we'll, we'll talk to you in a minute. All right? What are you doing around here? You need something? Oh, I need something. I'm looking for Justin. Need to deliver something. That's you? Yeah, I'm Justin. What do you have? Devon asked me to deliver this letter to you. Much appreciated. Here. Please deliver my response to Devon, and that's the last that we'll ask of you. Is that the last you'll ask of me? Hi, Devon. First off, miss you. Second, I believe in us. If we die, we die together. Our old oak, I will be there, I promise. You're right. Fuck these fools. Our Language. Love you to the moon. Justin. Love you to the moon. Who said this guy wasn't a poet? Oh look, know what's going little on Miss here. Busybody got something to, to say. Like the right thing to do, helping out a couple of star-crossed lovers, but you are putting their lives in jeopardy. Back off! I I didn't. Uh, I know chill. what's going on here, and it might seem to you like the right thing to do, helping out a couple of star-crossed lovers, but you are putting their lives in jeopardy. Devon allowed his attitude to choose his path, but Justin doesn't deserve to be dragged down with him. We've been through a lot of shit together. I don't want anything horrible to happen to him. They need a clean break. No more contact. If they keep this up, they will both be dead. I'm sure Justin gave you a letter for Devon. So That's how sure. Staying in touch. Deliver this letter instead. This will letter. End between them. Then they can Devon, get on with their this lives. This is crazy. We can't continue to risk our lives like this. I am safe, and I want to stay safe. You should do the same. I love you, but I will not jeopardize my life. You know I am right. Let me go. Take care of yourself. Now that don't Goodbye. sound like Justin. Justin. It's not even his handwriting. This plan's not gonna work. You should stay out of other people's business. Hey, asshole! All right. You believe that lady? Bet you're wondering why I'm back here. Belly! Belly! Couple belly shots. Oh, you won't be down for very long. You just have a little rest. Be back to full strength in no time. How about we give you some privacy, why don't we? Somebody over here, let's take care of them while we're waiting. That should be enough enough time, maybe. Yeah, a couple more. A couple more seconds. And nope, nope. Man down. Sorry. Sorry. Take your time. Let's 
so unpredictable. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bit my thumb, so I threw him back again. All right. Let's see if uh, Sleepyhead's awake. There's uh, Justin. There's our boy. So. One thing we want to do is switch to Justin's letter. There we go. Come on. Come on. Devon's waiting. Make sure the path is clear. Now we want to get to Devon in time to give him your letter. There you are. Before the reunion. All right, he's still on his way. Let's see if we can get some of our stamina back. Almost there. Who's that from? You made it back. God, I hope nobody saw you. Here, did Justin take a reply? First off, miss you. Second, here's Justin. If we die, we here it is. He was. Oh, oh, Justin Devon. What did you do? Well, star-crossed lovers no more. I'll take that key, thank you. And I'll give you a, a moment so that you can re rejoin. Justin. Where are you at? playing Ring Around the Rosie here? That's not Devon. Well, they're both still here. Needs another minute. We just need to be, uh, Need some privacy to, to mourn, I would think. We'll go around the corner here. Take care of some other business. <sighs> hmm. Lovers in a dangerous time. Let's do our counting again. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bit my thumb, so I threw it back again. That's not even how that rhyme goes. There you are, Justin. Oh, sorry, that's Devon. Where'd Justin go? You're not upset with me, are you? But I took your letter and I brought his back. I tried to re reunite you. Well, there you have it. Another quest completed by the devil. A lover forced to dispatch his beloved, probably because he wasn't a good poet, right? If you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 
10,000 subscribers. So that'd be much appreciated. Also, like, share, leave a comment. Love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.